Today I'm going to show you how to copy worlds and plugins over to your Raspberry Pi Minecraft server. A screenshot of this world was posted on Reddit the other day, so I'm going to download and use it as an example. First, I've got to make sure this world is upgraded to 1.12 before copying it over. I launched it in single player so that it would be properly upgraded. Now I'm downloading the Spigot plugin I want to install. This is just an example. I'm not completely installing this on my server. Copy the world folder and the plugin jar file that we just downloaded over to a USB drive. Once done, unplug your USB and connect it to your Raspberry Pi. Now we need to SSH into the Pi and find the USB drive. Run sudo fdisk-l. It will list the available drives and their partitions. My USB drive is the last one available and I want to remember the partition named SDA1. Now mount the partition by running sudo mount slash dev slash SDA1 space slash MNT. Replace SDA1 with the name of your partition. Once the partition is mounted, we want to move into the slash MNT directory and copy the plugin file over first. Put it in the home slash pi slash minecraft slash plugins folder by running cp plugin name dot jar space slash home slash pi slash minecraft slash plugins. Copy the world folder over the same way. Move into the slash mnt directory and run cp space world folder name space slash home slash pi slash minecraft. I use the move command here accidentally and we really want to use the copy command which is cp. After copying the world folder over move to the slash home slash pi slash minecraft folder. Now run nano space server dot properties to edit the server properties file. Change the level dash name attribute to match the folder name for your new world. Save this change by hitting Ctrl and O and then exit with Ctrl and X. Hop back into your screen session with screen space dash R space Minecraft. Type stop and hit enter to stop the server safely. Now reboot your Pi by running sudo space reboot space now. When it comes back up, Spigot should start with the new world and plugin. I do want to mention one thing about setting up plugins. With many plugins, you need to set up permissions for them to work. It's a little different for every plugin, which is why I didn't completely set up the staff chat plugin I used in this example. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, or if you're having trouble following these instructions, please leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer your questions and concerns. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.